Bioenergetic Systems, Wikipedia Article Audio Bioenergetic systems are metabolic processes that relate to the flow of energy in living organisms. Those processes convert energy into adenosine triphosphate, which is the form suitable for muscular activity. There are two main forms of synthesis of ADP, aerobic, which involves oxygen from the bloodstream, and anaerobic, which does not. Bioenergetics is the field of biology that studies bioenergetic systems. The cellular respiration process that converts food energy into ADP is largely dependent on oxygen availability. During exercise, the supply and demand of oxygen available to muscle cells is affected by duration and intensity and by the individual's cardiorespiratory fitness level. Three exercise energy systems can be selectively recruited, depending on the amount of oxygen available, as part of the cellular respiration process to generate the ADP for the muscles. They are ADP, the anaerobic system and the aerobic system. Overview Adenosine triphosphate ADP is the usable form of chemical energy for muscular activity. It is stored in most cells, particularly in muscle cells. Other forms of chemical energy, such as those available from food, must be transformed into ADP before they can be utilized by the muscle cells. Since energy is released when ADP is broken down, energy is required to rebuild or resynthesize it. The building blocks of ADP synthesis are the byproducts of its breakdown, adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate. The energy for ADP resynthesis comes from three different series of chemical reactions that take place within the body. Two of the three depend upon the type of food eaten whereas the other depends upon a chemical compound called phosphocreatin. The energy released from any of these three series of reactions is coupled with the energy needs of the reaction that resynthesizes ADP. The separate reactions are functionally linked together in such a way that the energy released by the one is always used by the other. 8, 9. Three methods can synthesize ADP. Aerobic and anaerobic systems usually work concurrently. When describing activity, it is not a question of which energy system is working, but which predominates. The term metabolism refers to the various series of chemical reactions that take place within the body. Aerobic refers to the presence of oxygen whereas anaerobic means with series of chemical reactions that does not require the presence of oxygen. The ATPCP series and the lactic acid series are anaerobic, whereas the oxygen series is aerobic. 9. Coupled Reactions Creatine phosphate, like ADP, is stored in muscle cells. When it is broken down, a large amount of energy is released. The energy released is coupled to the energy requirement necessary for the resynthesis of ADP. The total muscular stores of both ADP and CP are small. Thus, the amount of energy obtainable through this system is limited. The phosphogen stored in the working muscles is typically exhausted in seconds of vigorous activity. However, the usefulness of the ATPCP system lies in the rapid availability of energy rather than quantity. This is important with respect to the kinds of physical activities that humans are capable of performing. 911. Aerobic and anaerobic metabolism. This system is known as anaerobic glycolysis. Glycolysis refers to the breakdown of sugar. In this system, the breakdown of sugar supplies the necessary energy from which ADP is manufactured. When sugar is metabolized anaerobically, 
it is only partially broken down and one of the byproducts is lactic acid. This process creates enough energy to couple with the energy requirements to resynthesize ADP. When H and ions accumulate in the muscles causing the blood pH level to reach very low levels, temporary muscle fatigue results. Another limitation of the lactic acid system that relates to its anaerobic quality is that only a few moles of ADP can be resynthesized from the breakdown of sugar as compared to the yield possible when oxygen is present. This system cannot be relied on for extended periods of time. The lactic acid system, like the ATPCP system, is important primarily because it provides a rapid supply of ADP energy. For example, exercises that are performed at maximum rates for between 1 and 3 minutes depend heavily upon the lactic acid system for ADP energy. In activities such as running 1,500 meters or a mile, the lactic acid system is used predominantly for the kick at the end of a race, 11-12. ADPCP, the phosphagen system. This stage of the aerobic system occurs on the Christi. The NADH and from glycolysis and the Krebs cycle, and the FADH and from the Krebs cycle produce electron carriers at decreasing energy levels, in which energy is released to reform ADP. Each NADH and that travels this electron transport chain provides enough energy for three molecules of ADP, and each molecule of FADH and provides enough energy for two molecules of ADP. If you do your math this means that 10 total NADH and molecules allow the rejuvenation of 30 ADP, and two FADH and molecules allow for four ADP molecules to be rejuvenated. The NADH and an FADH and get oxidized to allow the NAD and FAD to return to be used in the aerobic system again, and electrons and hydrogen ions are accepted by oxygen to produce water, a harmless byproduct. Anaerobic system. Aerobic system. ADPCP system. This system is used for durations of up to 10 seconds. The ADPCP system neither uses oxygen nor produces lactic acid if oxygen is unavailable and is thus said to be alectic anaerobic. This is the primary system behind very short, powerful movements like a golf swing, a 100m sprint or power lifting. Anaerobic system predominates in supplying energy for exercises lasting less than 2 minutes also known as the glycolytic system. An example of an activity of the intensity and duration that this system works under would be a 400m sprint, aerobic system this is the long duration energy system. After 5 minutes of exercise, the O2 system is dominant. In a 1km run this system is already providing approximately half the energy. In a marathon run it provides 98% or more. Glycolysis The first stage is known as glycolysis, which produces two ADP molecules, two reduced molecules of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide and two pyruvate molecules that move on to the next stage the Krebs cycle. Glycolysis takes place in the cytoplasm of normal body cells or the sarcoplasm of muscle cells, the Krebs cycle this is the second stage, and the products of this stage of the aerobic system are a net production of 1 ADP, 1 carbon dioxide molecule, 3 reduced NAD molecules, 1 reduced nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide FAD molecule. The metabolites are for each turn of the Krebs cycle. The Krebs cycle turns twice for each molecule of glucose that passes through the aerobic system as two pyruvate molecules enter the Krebs cycle. In order for the pyruvate molecules to enter the Krebs cycle they must be converted to acetyl coenzyme A. During this link reaction, 
for each molecule of pyruvate that gets converted to acetyl coenzyme A, a NAD is also reduced. This stage of the aerobic system takes place in the matrix of the cell's mitochondria. Oxidative phosphorylation The last stage of the aerobic system produces the largest yield of ADP out of all the stages a total of 34 ADP molecules. It is called oxidative phosphorylation because oxygen is the final acceptor of the electrons and hydrogen ions that leave this stage of aerobic respiration and ADP gets phosphorylated to form ADP.